Carter had been free since September. Criminal justice activist Nadra Enzi, also known as Captain Black, said that in this case, street justice appeared to arrive faster than courthouse justice. Strategic back again, what's going on guys? I got a real sad one for you guys today. Um, it's like, what is it? Almost three in the morning, 3 a.m. And I just got back from work just a little while ago, but I had to share this story with you because this story is indicative of where our society is heading. See, our criminal justice systems across this country is failing citizens, it's failing people. All right. We have engaged in systematic perpetrator reform, but there are no reforms for victims. There are no reforms that protect people who are victims of crime and hence in in return stop people from becoming victims of crime. So this case in point brings us to New Orleans. All right. And in New Orleans, a father by the name of Bokeo B. Johnson has been arrested and charged with second degree, degree murder. He's also been charged with attempted murder. Why? Why is this father facing these charges? Well, he's facing these charges because he killed the man who killed his 18-year-old son and his 25-year-old step daughter all right now i'm going to play the video for you guys at the end you'll see the newsreel and it'll show the shooting happen of course they'll pause it when the gun the gun um shots fire but it's a really good video so stay tuned to the end of this video to catch that new story that i'm going to add to this video and while you're at it please like subscribe join the channel and we're also celebrating the fact that we have gotten 5,000 subscribers on YouTube as of today. Now, let me read this article for you so you can get in tuned into how this story played out. So a New Orleans man has been charged with the drive by shooting of a man who allegedly killed his son and stepdaughter. Okeel B. Johnson is accused of killing Hollis Carter and wounding his mother as he was driving to a court appearance Wednesday. New Orleans police says. Mr. Carter allegedly confessed to the 2021 double homicide of step siblings Caleb Johnson, 18, and Brianna Brown, 25. So this young man killed two people, all right, two African Americans in this country. He stole their lives away, two young people who were doing positive things. They were victims of senseless gun violence, all right? New Orleans police said they arrested Mr. Johnson for executing a search, after executing a search warrant on his home. After interviewing Johnson was determined to be the perpetrator in this incident, was placed under arrest, says the police. Mr. Johnson was booked Friday at the New Orleans Paris Justice Center on charges of second degree murder, which carries an automatic life sentence and attempted second degree to murder the same charges that Mr. Carter had faced, right? So now our criminal justice system is going to punish him um, on the same level that the person who killed this kid um, was going to pun was going to be punished with. And and I'm going to give you my opinion about this um, when I'm done with this article. Uh, police said the gunman in a black Ford F-150 fired eight bullets into the sedan. You're going to see that at the end of this video. After Miss Carter was shot and killed, his attorney said that um, he never had the opportunity to clear his name because the attorney said that um, that the confession was a forced confession, which is bull crap. You know, these attorneys, these defense attorneys lie for their clients all the time. It's part of what they do and that he was going to um, change his story and then they were going to go to trial. This is all lies, right? It's just all lies. Um, the problem that we have, that's pretty much the end of the article. The rest of the article is the attorney trying to big up this guy. So I read the last paragraph. He was a good kid. This is what the attorney is saying about the deceased. The gunman who killed an 18 year old black child and a 25 year old black woman. This is what the defense attorney is saying about him. He was a good kid. He was working at a restaurant. He was abiding by all the restrictions required by a defendant who's out on bond. He was loved by his family. This is tragic. It, re it really is tragic, though. And, you know, the problem we have in our criminal justice system is bad. Okay. 
And New Orleans is one of those states where they did a lot of reforms with their criminal justice system. This young man killed two people. He gunned down two people. More than his life is worth. He took two humans and he only has one life to give. He took two lives. He has one life to give. And his bail was set at $300,000 and change. Now, people say, oh, well, that's a lot of bail. But number one, you don't know his economic circumstance because listen what happens next. When you have bail, you don't have to pay the full amount. You pay 10%. And there are ways around that as well. There are a lot of bail bondsmen who will take collateral. There's it's just, it's, it doesn't matter how you get it. It's who's willing to give it to you. The courts aren't saying they want 10%. That's the industry standard is 10% for bail bondsmen. You might find a bail bondsman who will take even less than 10%. The court doesn't care so long as the court has guarantee that they will get paid if this person skips out from court. So his family only had to put up $40,000. Now look at Mr. Johnson's position. You lost your son, you lost your stepdaughter, and the criminal justice system allows this man to walk out the front doors of the gates for $40,000. Our criminal justice system in the United States of America valued, valued this man's son, biological son, and his stepdaughter at $40,000. Our criminal justice system valued the rest of our safety at $40,000 because they allowed a person who is capable of murdering other human beings back on the streets for $40,000, right? And then you have the family and friends who are willing to put this money together to get this person out because they care more for their loved one who, co who confessed to the crime than they do to the victims and their families who have to suffer and live with the fact that their loved ones are gone forever. Now, as a police officer, I say, do not take the law into your own hands. This father should allow the criminal justice system to work. We pray that it works, right? And that's it. But from a human point of view, you know, it's sad. It's tragic. But I, I don't feel sorry for the new victim. I don't even feel sorry for his mother who was seriously injured because she's part of the problem too, going against everything that I believe, which is law and order. But as a parent, I think everything gets thrown out the window. You know, it's unfortunate that our system does not work the way it's supposed to work. And it will allow this young man to walk the streets. Because if Mr. Carter was incarcerated, he would still be alive. And his mother would not have been seriously injured. And this father would be attending every single court date, waiting to hear those words guilty and have his son's killer put in prison. But the criminal justice system doesn't work all the time. And especially in this decade, in this, this time frame, this moment in our history, we are passing laws that are benefiting dangerous people and doing nothing to help and support victims. So check out the video right now. And when that video is done, we'll end the video. So like and subscribe on the channel, but don't go yet. Watch the news clipping. Um, see how this father took out his child's and his stepchild's killer. Uh, good news piece. Strategic is out of here for now. I'll see you on the next one. New Orleans police made a quick arrest in Wednesday morning's fatal double shooting that killed a 21 year old man and severely hurt his mother. And in a tragic twist here that some are calling a clear case of retaliation, the 21 year old was awaiting trial in a double murder. The suspect, the father of one of those victims. Investigative reporter Mike Perlstein has that story. Edna Carr senior Caleb Johnson was weeks away from graduating when he was gunned down last year along with his stepsister Brianna Brown. 
The man police say confessed to the double murder, 21-year-old Hollis Carter, was just minutes away from a court hearing Wednesday morning when he was fatally shot and his mother wounded. Now, in what appears to be the next turn in a tragic cycle of violence and retaliation, Caleb Johnson's father, 46-year-old Bokio Johnson, was booked overnight with Carter's killing. This video shows a car pulling up beside Carter and his mother before a gunman opens fire. Hollis Carter remained behind bars for five months before he was released after posting $375,000 bail. Now that would cost him or his family $40,000 to make that bond. Carter had been free since September. Criminal justice activist Nadra Enzi, also known as Captain Black, said that in this case, street justice appeared to arrive faster than courthouse justice. That the justice system did not work for them and perhaps someone may have taken something into his own hands. NZ said retaliation shootings have plagued New Orleans for decades, happening before a case has a chance to move through the court system. Everybody thinks that the power is with the elected officials but is with the people. The people are going to have to decide, do we want more of our people dying in the streets? It's just that simple. And now, almost one year to the day after Caleb Johnson was buried, another funeral is being planned, along with another court case for murder. Mike Perlstein, Eyewitness News. We spoke by phone with Carter's attorney, John Fuller, who maintained his client's innocence. He said he was preparing to go on trial in the case and to prove that Carter gave a false confession.